Yeah, this looks real cute. But you guys, the struggle was real. Keep watching. I'll show you how I got here and how I had to hack this style to get to here. Hey natural beauties, this is your girl Cherie and welcome back to my channel. If you clicked on this video, it's obvious you're curious about how I achieved this style. So keep watching. Everyone's pretty familiar with curl formers, the spiral kind. I think they have a barrel kind, they have a wave kind. There's a good variety of curl formers out there, but I had not seen too much on one called snail formers. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of those because we won't be using those for the purposes of this video. We'll be using these. So the curl formers or snail formers set up in pretty much the same way. You use a hook that you have to affix together yourself. For some reason, it was really hard to put that together. Now I am starting out on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. This is actually after the detangling my hair video where I used the avocado co-wash. And if you have not seen that video, please go ahead and take a look at that video. I'll link it up in the card. But let's get into the materials you will need. Something to detangle, a foaming mousse. I put a blow dry straight um, serum in, some water, some argan oil. And I believe that is all. Oh, I also got a fine tooth comb just so I can really detangle my hair because I really wanted to stretch my curls out. And so just like I would do with the curl formers, I am starting off with small sections of hair, wetting them if they need to be wet, applying the foaming mousse, <laughs> also applying the argan uh, oil smoothing serum, and um, detangling that through each section, and then I apply the snail former. Now the hooking mechanism that you use to apply the snail former is a little tricky, but that wasn't the tricky part and I will show you that slow down here in a second. The disappointing part here was that these were too short for my hair. Yep, this looks like it's going to be a fail. But this is Cherie here talking and we don't go out like that, right? So. When there's a will, there's a way, and I always find a way to make something work. Like Tim Gunn and Project Runway when they have like the make it work moment. Excuse the fashion design reference, but you know, I have my make it work moments and I decided that I would braid at my root. And I do several things. I braid at the root, I twist at the root. Um, I do two strand twists at the root just so I can have that area stretched so that I can get it to be a little bit longer and that I can pull the snail former all the way down past the end of my hair and so that is my quick hack to make these work if they happen to be too short for your hair just like they were too short for mine now just a little bit of backstory here I ordered these off of eBay um, they were a little hard to find, um, but if you look up snail formers, you should be able to find them. However, the listing that I found had these at a measurement of 25 centimeters all the way up to 45 centimeters. I ordered 45 centimeters and paid for them, and then they wrote me back and said, oh no, we don't have them in that size. So this is what I got, and they gave me an extra bag of them for free because they had the wrong size, but I don't need more of them. I need longer ones. <laughs> so I'm not sure what they expected me to do with that, but maybe I'll have a giveaway or something. Anywho, um, as I got to the front of my hair, I found a way to make this go a lot faster and I made larger sections that I applied the formers to and I just split my loose hair 
at the bottom into two sections and then added the form curl or the snail formers onto those. And once you attach these onto your hair, they don't quite roll back up in the way that they come. So you kind of have to guide them back up so that you get the shape. I mean, I don't know if it would have affected the shape if I would have left them how they were, but I felt like that was the best way for me to do it. Okay guys, that was exhausting. My arms feel crazy. I, I hope I just like burned, you know, like a thousand calories just doing that because my arms are so tired right now. I'm tired. Um, I had a real struggle. It wasn't a struggle, like I know how to put them in because I used to do the spiral ones all the time. But I had a uh, roadblock with them not being long enough. I went initially when I ordered them online, I think they said they had some that were 45 centimeters in this style. And then they contacted me and said, oh no, that was a mistake. They're only 25 centimeters or something. I don't know. I don't even know what this is, but it's, I know it's not long enough. Maybe for like some of my front hairs, but everywhere else it's not long enough. So this was my hack to get them to fit all the way down to the end. The thing about that is I didn't think about that until I got to the top half. I have a clip. I still have a clip in my hair. This is how you know it's real. I'm going to bed with this in my hair. Anyway. Um, so the back, some of them are braided, some of them are twist, and then I added them on because I didn't want my hair to just be loose with this. The thing that I love about the regular cur curl formers is that they get a grip on your roots and they pull it in. By the time your hair dries, you have this nice stretched root. And I always 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 use the spiral ones to stretch my hair out before i decide to flat iron this is not going to work for that purpose i wasn't planning on flat ironing anyway but um this does not give me hope for any future use so i probably just have to use my regular spiral curl formers and I don't let you guys see when I do that. This is our last curl set or roller set per se for the October month of curls. Usually with the other the spiral curl formers I can let this sit for like six hours and my hair is dry. This is a little different because they roll up like like a fruit roll up. But it does feel like it's going to be more comfortable, so I am looking forward to that. We'll see how it goes. Alright guys, I'm back. I end up letting these stay in until the next evening. And they were dry. Um, I was a little concerned, but you know, I gave it over 24 not over 24 hours, over 12 hours. And they definitely had enough time to dry. And so the way you release them is you squeeze the mouth of the top part open and then you can just kind of pull them down and your hair is free and hopefully it's curled. We will see how this turns out. If you made it this far through the video then you must be finding something interesting so why don't you go ahead hit that subscribe button and if you have not hit the like button already go ahead and like the video and let me know down in the comments if you think this is going to be a fail or a pass
Now at this point, I've removed all of the snail formers and I'm not sure how it's going to turn out because I have all these little braids and random twists at my roots. So my roots are gonna be super textured with these silky curls at the end. I don't know you guys. As usual, I go in with my argan oil on my fingertips to unravel the braids and to further define the curls. And I am going to speed through that and fluff and separate so we can get something out of this hack of a snail former set. So what's it gonna be guys? What do you think? Was this a fail or a pass? Did my hack make it work? If you would try these out, please let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna continue to fluff it a little bit here. Eventually I got it to work for me. Um, I had to make it work because I had somewhere to go, but I don't think I'll be dealing with those anymore. But let me know if you would try them and what you thought of this video if you enjoyed the video please go ahead and like it if you find this helpful please feel free to share with someone and definitely definitely please subscribe if you have not already subscribed i enjoyed the month of curls and sharing my different ways to curl my curls with you guys um, we will have to do this again sometime Please, as always, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see on my channel. And until the next video, please continue to live out loud, own your truth, and let your light shine. Thank you so much for watching.